Welcome back everyone. Today we got an awesome video today. We are going to test some World War II ammunition that my grandfather brought back from World War II. Some 9mm from dated 1943. We're going to see if it'll fire, which I'm pretty confident it will. We're going to shoot it into some paper plates alongside a current 115 grain uh, 9 millimeter. I'm not sure what grain this is because there's no labeling on the packaging whatsoever other than a stamp that says 450. Nothing else. But I'm curious to see if it'll penetrate as far. A little story, uh, my grandpa sent a lot of stuff home from the war and he lived through the depression and he barely ever bought anything. He was the guy that picked stuff up from the side of the road and kept the parts and fixed things. Just to give you an example, he never bought not one box of 9mm for his original German Luger that he also brought home. He, that long barrel Luger was his self-defense weapon with this ammo inside it. Yeah. He shot a little bit of it, so I do know it shoots at least within the last six, seven, eight years anyways. This ammo is 78 years old. I'm pretty confident it'll fire. I'm interested how many plates does it go through versus the current 9mm. So I hope you stay tuned. We're also going to use a Luger, American Eagle P08. This is actually an original Luger that unfortunately Mitchell Arms fully refinished. I wish it was still in original condition, but it is what it is. But at least I'm using the, the right type of gun for this video. So stay tuned and we will see what happens with this World War II ammo. So a lot of the research I did on this ammo, I came up with steel case. I didn't see a whole lot of brass, this is brass. A lot of it did have a label. Some of it was like 16 round boxes. This is definitely more. I have one brand new box and this box had some missing from it. Just loose in here and there's, I'm guessing there's, there could be 30, 30, 40, 50 rounds in here. I, I really didn't count because there's some missing. I want to see if somehow you can pick up what that says and maybe I need to so it says 43 there's a number six and then capital M capital M if anybody knows more about this kind of ammo I would definitely would definitely love to hear about it I have a magnifying glass, so I am going to try to see if maybe that will work for you to be able to read it. Hopefully you're getting it right there. Hopefully you're getting it right there. So anyways, enough of the talk. We're just gonna shoot one amp, one round. So I get it, historians. I'm not out here wasting a bunch of World War II ammo, but I am gonna shoot one round for scientific purposes. Let's get to the shooting. We're loaded up. We have 300 paper plates downrange. First bullet's going to be the 1943 World War II 9mm. The second will be a Cellier in Beloit 115 grain 9mm. Let's see what happens. I'm really excited to see if there's a difference.
That was the hundred or the 1943. Here's the current one. We're gonna fire two more rounds. I'll explain why afterwards. Failure to eject. So the 1943 did not eject properly. We shot a little high. I guess I should explain now. I did this test about a week ago and with the new microphone setup, hopefully the audio sounds better, less wind. I made some adjustments on the camera and I screwed up, didn't set my camera back and the footage was horrible. In that footage, I only had 280 plates, the new one ran through them all and the 1943 stopped short at around just over 200. This is 300 plates and the first two shots blew right through it, including the 1943. So that's why I did another round and one, they both blew through it again. So unfortunately, kind of a failure, but kind of not. That one, that first test, which I could roll a little bit of footage in right now, Hey guys, so one small problem, the one on the right went through. So our current one went through all the plates, which is really shocking because Hootie Who, Hootie Who uh, didn't go through nearly as many plates. So obviously it probably matters what kind of plate you buy. But let's see, let's see the 1943 round though. What did we stop short by? So this is 280 plates. Our current one blew through all 280. But I can tell you already the 43 is going through less so far. Yeah. We got right here though, so we, we've captured the 43 bullet, which is pretty sweet. So it, it broke it, it split it, but we haven't quite made it through yet. This is really cool that we captured the 1943 bullet, but it does show you that penetration was definitely not as good in a 78 year old bullet. Oh, there it is, there it is. So let's set these aside, we'll count them and we'll deduct them off the 240. But people, here it is right here. See it sticking out? It's, oh, is it hot? It is hot. How cool is that? So, I do think this would have been effective for him in a self-defense situation. It would have took care of business, but as you can see, big difference. There it is, the 1943 bullet. The first time it clearly did not have as much power and as much penetration stopped in about 65 less plates that we know of. The other one blew all the way through. 
But this round, 40, 20 more plates and two rounds blew right through it. So I guess <laughs> the moral of the story is what I was trying to figure out was uh, would it serve its purpose in a self-defense situation for my grandpa? And I guess the answer is possibly, depending on what round. Now that one that didn't penetrate as well, the first test that failed, I still think it would have obviously did its purpose to a human. So the answer is 78 year old World War II ammo is still effective. I've fired three rounds of it total. I know I lied, I said one round earlier. Three rounds total, I'm not firing any more, and it's technically effective in a home defense situation if you had to use it like my grandpa planned on. Anyways, I kind of hope this video turned out okay. I'm really hoping that the audio is better. As usual, thank you guys for watching. Um, added a little bit of science to the channel. Still going to give a shout out to my buddy Denton's Backyard Show. Awesome dude. Denton, carry the knife you sent me every single day. Please check out what he's got going on. And uh, let's go, let's give a shout out to the Russ Lee. Check out the Russ Lee. He's got a really good channel as well. Until next time, we're out. Thanks for watching.